So here we have to work out the IUPAC name. So the first step is just to work out the longest carbon chain. So for example, we could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see if we can do better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, so that's the longest. The longest chain is the one that you can make without having to lift your finger uh, from your paper or lift your pen from your paper. So with nine, then we're gonna say non, okay? They don't usually go up to nine and 10, but yeah, I thought I'll just add it for this one. Usually they go up to eight, which is oct. Now, we need to decide whether we are gonna name this molecule from this side or from over here. Now, you can't just choose whatever you feel like. There's actually a specific way we determine this. If you had to start on this side, then this would be carbon one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. If we did it like that, then the branches would be on carbon number six and carbon number seven. Now, if we rather had to name it on from the left-hand side instead, or the left part, then this would be carbon one, carbon two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now your branches are on carbon three and carbon four. So because of that, the lower numbers, we are rather gonna choose that. So let's see what branches we have. So on carbon three, it's a one carbon branch, and on carbon four, it's also a one carbon branch. So one means meth. So the way we'll do this is we'll say that on carbon three and on carbon four, there is a methyl, like that. And then because there's two of them, you're gonna have to add the word dimethyl. And then what type of molecule is this? Is it an alcohol, ester, carboxylic acid, alkane, alkene, alkyne, haloalkane, what is it? Well, there's only carbon and hydrogen and there's only single bonds. So that's an alkane. Alkanes, end in the word, A-N-E. So that is the name of this molecule.